man missing for two months turns up dead tonight. His family says there are still many unanswered questions in the death of Brian Nesbitt. Fox 44's Anna Thrash spoke with family and explains why they think police aren't doing enough. Bunch of emotions all in one. I mean, definitely panic and just felt like I was basically living my worst nightmare every single day. Andrea Murray, the daughter of Brian Nesbitt, describes when she found out her father was missing. Nesbitt disappeared from his home outside of Gatesville on September 7th, 2018. He was very afraid that day. Seemed like he was afraid that somebody was after him. Several different agencies helped Coriel County deputies search for Nesbitt, but they found nothing for months. We always utilize every source that is at our disposal and we get a lot of them statewide. But Nesbitt's mother, Joanne Dean, says police did not do enough. They didn't search. They didn't want to be bothered. And we're the ones that did the searching. We were the ones that wanted to look because we knew nobody else was going to. Dean says her family hired a helicopter and a private investigator to find Brian. On November 22nd, Coriel County deputies found Nesbitt's truck abandoned on County Road 342. Five days later, they located his remains about 200 yards from his truck. Dean says a Texas Ranger called her and told her Nesbitt committed suicide. That was the last thing he'd do. He thought that was murder, that was a sin. It was against the commandments, thou shalt not kill. He would never have done that. The official cause of death is undetermined and authorities also can't say when Nesbitt died. The family says they are struggling with the amount of unknown information. I go to the funeral home and there's no body. You can't say goodbye to anybody. Uh, yeah, I'm angry about how all of it was handled. Very angry. Coriel County Chief Deputy Mark Wilcox says he expects the official report to be released sometime this month. At this point, unless we get any kind of new leads that come in, it, the case is, for the most part, closed. Dean and Murray say they don't know how their family is supposed to find closure. I don't really feel like we're dealing with this well at all due to a lot of unanswered questions, like what happened to him. Our whole family is devastated. We don't know how to go forward because we have no answers. We'll never have any answers, probably. But they will always have their memories of Brian. Anna Thrash, Fox 44 News.